Now, a drug developed by a Vancouver company, it's shown a lot of promise in the battle to save people from the coronavirus. This drug right now is in clinical trials, and the company CEO believes it could save lives in the months to come if it's fully approved for widespread use in the future. Point Six's Jennifer Dowling talked to the CEO. She has more on this. Jennifer? That's right. The CEO says this has been tested on HIV and cancer patients in the past with good results, and he feels it also could be very helpful in the battle against coronavirus as well. The company is in Vancouver, Washington. It's called Cytodyne, and the drug's name is Liron Lima. The company's CEO says it won't stop the transmission of something like coronavirus, but it will stop some people from dying. In simple terms, he says it works by calming down the body's immune system and a potential over-response to the virus. He says by mitigating that response, it's believed that the body can better fight it off. The body can handle that virus. If you calm the body down, it'll be like a flu. What happens to the flu virus? It goes away because the body can handle it. Pro 140, which is what the name long time ago is Liron Lima, is a product that modulates the immune system. So the immune system gets corrected. So the cytokine storm does not happen. It actually allows the body to get through this and be able to get discharged from the hospital and not get on ventilator. Nadir says several patients in a hospital were injected with the drug after it was requested by a doctor there for compassionate use, which is allowed by the FDA. He says upon seeing the results, the FDA gave the company the green light for more randomized trials involving severe and mild to moderate patients. He says 40 patients have already been injected from the severe population. Now, Nadir says there might be some results published on the drug this week. He says he'll be looking out for that. And we'll hear more from him coming up tonight on Coin6 News at 11 o'clock. Back to you, Wayne. Very interesting. We look forward to that. Thank you, Jennifer.